Hello everyone, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom, where we dive into the small things in life that can make a big difference to your health. I'm Ethan Foster, the guy who thinks that if the brain were an actual hardware store, half of us have probably lost the key to the front door. And I'm Alara Sky, here to point out that you're not alone in that brain key fiasco, Ethan. Everyone locks themselves out of their mental hardware from time to time. Don't worry, I won't make you climb through any windows just yet. Around here, we like to talk about health in a way that makes you laugh, think, and hopefully remember something afterward. Precisely. And because we're feeling especially generous, we'd like to offer you, dear listener, a free mental locksmith to open up the conversation about vitamin B12, the unsung hero of brain function. We're focusing on seniors today, but really, anyone with a working brain might want to listen in. Absolutely. Here's the big reveal. Vitamin B12 doesn't just help you feel less like you're walking through molasses on a Monday morning. It also keeps your mental gears turning quickly. Low levels can lead to more than just that foggy feeling where you go into a room and forget why you entered. It can actually shrink parts of your brain over time. Now, I'm no fan of shrinking anything, especially if it's between my ears. I'd say that's a fair concern, unless you really want to reduce the surface area for wrinkles inside the skull. But I suspect that's not a very trendy approach to aging. So let's talk about how vitamin B12 factors into this. According to Dr. Mercola's analysis, research points to older adults experiencing slower brain signals, memory issues, and fuzzy focus when B12 levels drop. And that's the subtle part. A lot of folks don't notice the problem brewing until they're fruitlessly hunting for their reading glasses for the umpteenth time. Then they realize those glasses are perched neatly on top of their head. It can start with, where did I put my wallet? And end with, how did I forget the name of my own nephew? Suddenly you're mixing up people's names, or you drive to the grocery store and leave your list at home because your memory took a lunch break. One of the more alarming tidbits from that research is something called white matter hyperintensities. It sounds like an odd sci-fi phenomenon, but it basically means you can develop tiny potholes in your brain's wiring. Over time, that can really slow down your mental processes, like your own personal internet speed being stuck at dial-up. Imagine if you had a map with a bunch of little holes in the roads you drive every day. Now you're swerving, you're bumping, you're muttering words I can't repeat on air. Your journey's not so smooth anymore. That's what can happen to our brain signals when there's not enough active vitamin B12, known in fancy circles as hollow transcobalamin or hollow TC. What a name. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. Hollow TC, the final frontier. Indeed. And here's the double whammy. Too much inactive B12, known as holohaptocorin or holo HC, can also be a signal of trouble. It's like stuffing your suitcase with items that serve no purpose. You're lugging around a lot of extra baggage, but it's not doing you any good. The presence of all that inactive B12 has been linked to certain markers that suggest brain damage. So, we can't just go out and say, ooh, B12 is good. Let's chug the whole bottle. Balance is the key, as in all things. That said, many seniors or folks nearing their golden years might be hovering on the low side. A few studies indicated that those with memory problems, slow thinking, or general mental fuzziness saw great improvement after starting a proper B12 regimen. One such study looked at older adults with B12 deficiency and high homocysteine, which is essentially a stress marker in the bloodstream. After they got on B12 therapy, about 84% reported feeling a whole lot better. No more constant mental fog, better focus, you name it. And 78% even scored higher on memory tests after just three months of treatment. That's pretty impressive if you think about it. It's like turning up the brightness on a dimmed screen. If you never realized your brightness was turned down, flipping that switch can feel almost magical. Exactly. But here's the catch. Not everyone showed improvements. A small group didn't respond to B12 therapy. It's possible that once your deficiency goes on too long, some damage becomes permanent. It's like a leaky roof. Fix it right away. And it's a quick patch job. Wait 10 years and you might be renovating the whole house. Early intervention matters. That's why Dr. Mercola's suggestion of regular B12 checks after 50 isn't just busy work. It's more of a, let's catch this before the water gets into the drywall approach. So for folks listening, if you're hitting that milestone, or even if you're younger but always forget where you placed your cell phone, it might be worth exploring your B12 levels sooner rather than later. Another interesting point. Normal B12 tests can be a bit misleading. Some doctors will say, your numbers look fine, but your methylmalonate or homocysteine levels might be sky high. If you've got those elevated markers, it could indicate that your body isn't using B12 effectively. So a plain old B12 test might not tell the full story. It's like if your bank statement says you have a certain amount of money, but then you forget you wrote a bunch of checks that haven't cleared. You think you're rich, but the underlying details tell a different story. That's where methylmalonate and homocysteine come in. Elevated levels of those can shrink brain volume and slow down your cognitive speed, even if your B12 level alone seems normal. And shrinking your brain? That's never a good marketing strategy for aging. It's not like buying smaller clothes to celebrate weight loss. No one's celebrating a smaller brain. Definitely not. Now, to keep that noggin from losing its plush interior, 
let's talk about ways to maintain healthy B12 levels. One of the simplest is eating B12-rich foods, grass-fed meat, dairy, eggs if you're into that. For those who avoid animal products, you might have to rely on supplementation. And it's not just vegetarians or vegans who need to be cautious. People on certain medications, for instance, metformin for blood sugar control, could be at risk for lower B12 levels. If you're on anything that might interfere with absorption, or if you just suspect you could be low, it's worth checking regularly. The good news is, if you do catch a deficiency early, B12 supplements can often jumpstart that old engine. Oral supplements usually do the trick for mild cases, while more severe deficiency might benefit from injections. The key is making sure you pick the right method for your situation. And the goal isn't to see how high you can climb on the B12 scoreboard. That's like trying to feed your cat a four-course meal when the cat only needs a bowl of kibble. Overdoing it might lead to other indicators that something isn't quite right. So how do we keep it balanced? Well, for one, test your levels. Just once in a while, enough to notice any downward trends. Some people do it yearly, others every six months. If you keep an eye on it, you can catch a dip in B12 before your memories in free fall. Absolutely. And hey, for anyone who's hearing all these scientific terms, methylmalonate, homocysteine, holo this, and holo that, it might feel like you're at a fancy dinner party with too many forks. But at the end of the day, it comes down to this. Your brain is a complicated system that loves B12. If B12 levels are too low, your mental performance can suffer. If you support it properly, you can help preserve your cognitive clarity. Now, speaking of clarity, let's share some frequently asked questions we've come across about B12, minus the pamphlet of disclaimers. My personal favorite, what does B12 do for your brain? In short, it acts like a handy maintenance crew, keeping your signals fast, memory sharp, and brain size intact. Skip it and you might find your brain signals in standstill traffic or your memory leaving the station without you. Another big one. How do I know if my B12 is low? Well, you may notice chronic fatigue, trouble focusing, or that you regularly exit the house without your keys, phone, and occasionally your shoes. Of course, a detailed blood test can confirm the story. And the question on overdoing it, can too much B12 harm me? We'd never say the more, the merrier, because in reality, excessive inactive B12 could be waving a red flag about something else going on in your system. Balance is the aim, not a B12 arms race. So, if you're hearing this and wondering whether you've been shortchanging your mind, it might be time to do a quick check-in. Because it's not just about memory. It can also help maintain a healthy reaction speed. If you're driving along, you want that foot to hit the brakes quickly, not three seconds later while your coffee spills. Ultimately, the older we get, the more our absorption rates drop. And if we're not absorbing, we might be physically consuming B12, but not actually getting it where it needs to go. So, that's the real reason these studies matter. Folks can go years thinking everything's peachy until they start mixing up birthdays and decades. That's when you look at the calendar and think, wait, is it 2025 or 2045? Then you realize you've gained 20 years in your mind. That might be nice if you plan on time travel, but generally, it's not so great for day-to-day -day living. Let's recap in plain language. If you're older, check your B12 levels regularly. If you're younger, do the same if you keep forgetting everything that's not pinned to your fridge. In addition, consider the types of foods you eat. If your diet is heavy on the plant side, or you're on certain meds, you might need supplements. The best part about supplementing B12 is that it's relatively straightforward. The more complicated step is the testing, making sure you look at those markers like methylmalonate and homocysteine, not just the general B12 number. Right. Imagine you're preparing for a road trip. You want to know not just if you have gas in the tank, but whether your tires are inflated, your battery is charged, and your engine coolant is topped up. B12 is part of that total tune-up. Checking only the gas in your tank might miss the bigger picture. Exactly. Now, if you do have a deficiency, catching it early can make a huge difference in reversing mental fuzziness. People in that one study saw a noticeable bump in memory test scores, which is no small thing if you've been feeling lost in your own thoughts. And if you wait too long, well, you might be in that group that doesn't benefit. That's a sobering reminder to pop your head up occasionally and see if you're drifting. Because once you're too far down the road, you might lose some ground you can't get back. Now, I might not have a crystal ball, but I'm willing to bet that more emphasis on B12 testing in older adults is going to be the wave of the future. It's such a low-hanging fruit in the world of easy improvements. People often think about big, complicated solutions for brain health, but sometimes it's as basic as ensuring your B12 is up to par. That's a great point. The simplest fixes are often right under our noses, or, in this case, right in the fridge, if you've got grass-fed meat, dairy, or other B12-rich foods. For those who avoid those foods or can't absorb them properly, a supplement can step in like a loyal understudy, making sure the show goes on. So, to tie all these threads together, B12 is crucial for your brain, especially as you age. Low levels can slow you down, mess with your memory, and physically affect the brain structure. If you suspect you're deficient, or you just want to double-check, start by requesting a more comprehensive test.
if needed, incorporate foods or supplements to keep those numbers healthy and balanced. Dr. Mercola's entire analysis suggests that, with regular testing and awareness of how B12 deficiency can sneak up on us, and a little strategic dietary or supplemental action, we can help preserve that mental edge. Because at the end of the day, you can't put a price on a functional memory or that quick wit we all hope to have well into our golden years. We don't want to be the ones forgetting our punchlines halfway through a joke. Or misplacing that witty remark in the mental filing cabinet. All right, that's our show for today. It's been a delight exploring the wonders of vitamin B12 with you. Thanks for tuning in to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Keep your brain fueled, your humor intact, and remember, if you suddenly can't recall where you parked the car, maybe you just need a little B12. I'm Ethan Foster, your friendly neighborhood observer of humankind. And I'm Alara Sky, reminding you to keep those neurons zipping along. Until next time, stay sharp. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.